What's up, you beautiful nerds? I am Wildfire One. This is Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. With me today is J Mac. Hi. Hi, J Mac. How you doing? It, you know, I've noticed that every time I have you on as a guest, and I'm like, I announce you, you're like, J Mac. Hi. I, lo- I, love it. I love it. It's it's so awkward. It's great. Um, because that's how like, I, 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 inter- bring... I would introduce myself like uh. Hi, you know, like I, I do the same thing. So, <laughs> look, we I gotta be a little awkward. Right? Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't be nerds if we weren't, right? Um, exactly. It's kind of part of our charm. That's what makes us sexy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, this is episode one seventy seven, season nine, and this is kind of a podcast that J Mac and I have been talking about collaborating on for a long time, uh, probably oh, for yeah. about a year now. Oh, ab- yeah, it's been a while. One day, I forget I forget how it started. Correct me if I'm wrong. We started talking about Scary Movie. And you said something along the lines that you didn't see most of them. Yes. Like, you only saw four and, and saw bits and pieces of three or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, Scary Movie 1 and 2 are, like, the best movies ever. So we, we went, I went out of my way to buy it off, buy this off Amazon. And we had a movie watch a thought. <laughs> <laughs> the only one we didn't watch, and that's by the way, that's what this podcast is about. We're talking about scary movie, the the this, as a series. The only one we're not going to talk about is five. Five doesn't exist. We don't. Five five, yeah. five sucks. Like even if it's got Snoop Dogg, you know, I love you, Snoop Dogg, but dude, no, this movie was bad. Like no, <laughs> I've seen clips from five. They were just all so unfunny. Oh god, yeah, it was it was just bad. Complete really waste bad. of the casting of Terry Crews. Yo, big time, big time, and I love me some Terry Crews. But mm-hmm. uh, so we 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 started watching. We did a watchathon on it. And I think we did it what in a whole month. Like we did it every other weekend. Uh, yeah, we did them like throughout like September and October, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, was it wasn't that but, long ago. I don't remember. It's been a year, yeah. I guess. But then about yeah, we just watched Scary Movie Two again yesterday. <laughs> yes. Or Friday. To, yes, because it was the first. Because it was the first one we watched, and then we There's... waited a little while before watching the rest of them, because yes. that was the one you had. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we got a little refresher on uh, Scary Movie 2 last night. And it... so, so the way we watched <laughs> it was funny was we, we watched 2, 1, 3, and 4, right? Mm-hmm. That's the order? Yeah. So we went, we, it was kind of a weird order, and it was just because I was like, 2 is my favorite, my absolute favorite. I watched 2 oh. with, uh, with, with my, co- my cousin uh, Maximus years ago. And he and I watched it and just laughed our ass off. Oh, it's it's so funny. And it has so much, like... Okay, it has so much subtle humor in it, too. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of the humor is very, very unsubtle. Like, it's very... Oh, hitting you over the head with a frying pan, unsubtle yeah, humor. Yeah, there's there a were, lot of slapstick humor in your face kind of yeah. stuff. But then there were some things, like signs in the background that would say things, or statues that were certain things that, like, you blink and you miss it, and they were so funny. Stuff that we didn't notice until like yesterday. Scary movie, when we watched Scary Movie Two again, we didn't notice. Like we we had paused it. We're like, wait a second, pause that and let's look at that. <laughs> and there's one scene where like a donkey's hump, humping a fucking well, elephant, and then there's like another yeah, scene where registered a vote and it's just a donkey and an elephant. There's so much place. like in the background that that the Wayne's brothers and, and like I want to say Keenan Ivory did was the, was in charge of two, right? Mm-hmm. Probably even one. Um, yeah. But there was so much in the background that we did, I didn't even notice to this day. To this day until we watched that and did our little pause moments. Mm-hmm. And the movie, I think, was like an hour and 20 minutes, hour 30 and minutes long. Yeah, something like that. But I think we, it, was like, it was like two hours because we kept pausing and watching. Oh, my God. Then, yeah, we so, similarly with uh, three. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, you guys, I'm assuming everyone's watched this. <clears throat> if you haven't, yeah, uh, watch it. Watch Look, it. It's it's rated like five out of ten on like IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes and stuff. But let's be honest, a lot of those people are sticks in the mud. <laughs> well, the first I want to say the first three were great. Mm-hmm. Like it, it tapered off a little at three, but and four had its moments. But we're we're gonna we're gonna yeah. tell you about our favorite moments from each movie. We're, we're, yes. I mean, and maybe some of the stuff they spoofed and and go from there, but. Where do you want to start off, Jay Mackey? Which one? Uh, let's just start, start with number one, the okay. first movie. So the first Kinda... movie is basically a ripoff of Scream. It's literally called Scary Movie because Scary Movie was the name of Scream before it became Scream. Yes. So 
Uh, and of course, it's the Wayne's brothers. Bless those guys. Those guys are funny. They'll never not be funny. Mm-hmm. Mind the double. They're the negative. kings of B movie parody stuff. Just like, comedy. Oh Just kings. Kings mm-hmm. of kings of a certain type of comedy. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, and they're so good at it, and it's just so funny. And like I said, the first one was based off a of scream, and there was a few aspects from other movies in it, and other a lot of a lot of of the time uh, references. Yeah. So one came out in two thousand, mm-hmm. um, July two thousand. So yeah, there were a lot of very dated references that were actually still funny today. Yeah. I don't think um, that I don't think that certain a certain group would get it like a certain age. Oh group. yeah, no the the well also the humor was offensive humor. It was offensive it was, humor. It was, it was shock humor. humor. It was shock humor. Yeah, which was what like, was big in the time. Like Officer Doofy. <laughs> Officer Doofy. <laughs> Reporting for duty, sir. I told you not to bother me when I'm cleaning my room. And he has a vacuum. <laughs> Fucking... It's just so fucking good. He's got a big ass boner as he as he says mm. it, and it, like the the guy who played him. Of course, he was supposed to be the parody of, of Dewey from Scooby. Yes. And so Officer Doofy, another good another good scene was uh hey uh, hey hey Doofy, smell my finger. <laughs> what's that? That's how you know you're a man, Doofy. Smell my finger. Oh, what's that? <laughs> my ass. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> Bro, okay, so, like, Doofy was largely the comedic relief character in that movie, but he oh, also p- was a villain. Like, yeah. It was kind of crazy. It was, because he was supposed to be, like, mentally challenged. Mm-hmm. And, and he committed to that part, because, I mean, let's look at it realistically. Yeah. If everyone thought you were that, you lived in a house, and your sister thought you were mentally challenged, and he's, at the end, he's pulling, you know, like, like in the movie... Pulling, pulling off his shit, and he looks really cool. Gets in this car with a with a hot chick, and oh he, yeah, and then they drive off, and fuck, it was it was just it was perfect. It was good. It, it was, was with the good. news reporter. Yeah, I chick. think so. It was. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. So favorite but, parts, favorite parts of Scary yeah. Movie One. Um, Scary Movie One had a lot of really silly jokes in it, like the twist ending with them revealing that it was the that the ghost was the way ghost face was the wayans brothers <laughs> well yeah was it uh it was that white dude that was supposed to be the boyfriend like like in yeah it was the white dude and, and then, then it and was then, someone else yeah and, and then, like there's like one part where he's um where where they're talking about remember they're supposed to stab each other mm-hmm. and he's like he's like i forget what he says i forget exactly what he says but he's like something doesn't make people violent canceling Show TV shows makes people. The Wayne's Brothers was a very good show, man. And he's like stabbing the shit out of this guy. Yeah. And he's, sitting, he's like, I feel a little woozy here. It's yeah. just fucking great. He's like, it's they... my turn to stab you. Fuck that. One of the dated references that still is funny today was uh, they parodied the Budweiser commercial. Oh yeah, yeah the Budweiser. Or like. There were just so many scenes where, like, the ghost face would come in to kill people and then would just end up getting high with all of them and yeah, not that, killing well, anyone. That was, that was a good one. They're rapping, where they're, mm. like, freestyling in a circle, and he just yeah. kills all of them, and fucking Shorty's like, <laughs> damn, son, that was great! That was fucking good, dude. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it was it was a pretty funny movie. Not as funny as 2 was. I, I, oh I, I would say, like, slightly as funny, but I think mm-hmm. I think without 1, we wouldn't have gotten 2, of course. Yeah, without what. One was such a runaway success, and we were looking at the behind the scenes of two recently, that the weigh-ins were not like really initially interested in doing a two, until one was such a huge success that the studio was like, "We got to do a two. Yeah, like I think they said Merrimax came to them and was like, "Hey, we yeah. got to do this. You know, we got to do this." Yeah, thing. and like they're like, "Uh, maybe, maybe not." And then they showed them the check. Or like, "Oh, we're doing this." Yeah, <laughs> that could have been a joke, but I, I, I mean, oh. I, mm, you never know. I, yeah, it could have been a joke, but also like. It, what a perfect way to transition into two. Yeah, mm-hmm. there was a lot of good stuff in one, and yeah, that's the perfect mm-hmm. transition for two. And two is my all-time favorite because it spoofs, yeah. it spoofs some of the biggest scary movies at the time. I believe it was House on Haunted Hill was the big one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, I think I don't know if they did Thirteen Ghosts. Uh, I uh, they uh, Poltergeist. Poltergeist for sure. Uh, there were some Poltergeist references in there. Yeah. Uh, Exorcist. Exorcist of all oh, the beginning was the ex. Now, let's talk yeah. about that part. I know you. I know you're dying to talk about the James Woods scene. <laughs> okay, so James Woods, who's a, normally a very straight man actor, like very serious, very collected, really big into his parts. Yeah, 
Uh, he's playing Fa McFeely. Father McFeely. Thank you. Father McFeely. Yeah. yeah he, I mean, like, we're introduced first to this thing by a bunch of white people sat, standing around saying, like, singing doing on rap the piano. Music. Yeah. And then the girl comes down and just pisses all over the floor. <laughs> that one pervy dude, she's good. Oh, yeah. No, like, literally just watching her with the biggest horny grin oh. on her face. Yeah, that it, it's. I mean, let's be honest. In today's standards, that's like cringeworthy. But back then, that was funny. It's still to me, it's funny as hell. Oh, it's funny as hell. Partially because, like, it's true. There, yeah. there's always gonna be some pervy old dude watching a girl piss and be like, "Yeah, that's hot." Yeah, that's the, hot. The, the internet rule what? Rule thirty four. Yeah. Rule thirty four. But it's always gonna be some like pervy old dude who's gonna be the one that very obviously like, leaning in, like, "Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's hot. Exactly. Like, fuck, dude." <laughs> So that we get introduced with that, and then like it's supposed to be a again, it's the reference from the um, Exorcist. Exorcist, yeah. And then Father McFeely comes in, blesses the house by taking a massive fucking dump. So, like, yeah, it starts out there. One of the funniest things about when the when uh, Father McFeely appears is he comes in, like true Exorcist fashion, comes in a comes in a car. It's a cab, and he gets out of the cab, and the guy's like, oh, that'll be whatever amount of money. And he just fucking dashes. He gets the fuck out of Dodge, dude. He runs and like, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> it, it was so good. And then, um, of course, of course, they do the classic uh, exorcist. Something we learned about this film we were, by watching the behind the scenes. They got, so, per, first of all, when they were doing the makeup for the girl, they basically copied one for one the exorcist face like they, they did like extensive oh, research I'm glad you the stars and this. shit yes yes and then for her tongue they got the actual prop from the exorcist movie for her tongue when she's doing that thing like with her tongue she went yeah. ah, and like like and like james woods is looking at her all sexy and shit that was the real <laughs> tongue from the movie oh. That yes. was the tongue from the original Exorcist. They they said they had to actually get like had to get insurance insured. on it mm -hmm. because it was a prop history thing. And yeah, wow. it was a historical artifact apparently. So <laughs> golf clap, so... golf clap for that man. That was that was I. You had... gotta wonder how much that cost the prop manager or the makeup manager. Shows how much Miramax wanted to put, how much they wanted to put uh, into it. Yes, this. especially for such a short bit. Like so, obviously the girls saying like super offensive. So they walk they walk into the room right. And Father McFeely sees the girl, and he immediately turns around and says, fuck this. Fuck and just this. Because the girl's, like, head is spinning. He's like, oh, nope. And, oh, and, we, learned, and we learned something about that, too, and I don't know if that's what you're ad -lib. into. Yeah, that was, was all ad-lib. Like, he, initially, he was supposed to come in and play the straight man and, like, do something, and, like, he's like, he, he pulled the Wayans brothers aside. He's like, that was, like, so unfunny. We're not yeah. doing that. Yeah, so, so then he like came up with a new version of it on the spot and so, like did oh, fuck that. This and then walks out. That I mean, honestly, that's how I'd react if I saw that. I walked mm -hmm. in and, and this young lady had her head spinning and like. Here he walks in and just girl scratches all over her face, ah, red ah, eyes, ah, her head goes and spinning. Oh fuck this! Fuck this! <laughs> and, and then of course there's the iconic scene where she's talking to um, the other, the, like the bigger guy, the the guy that the other. Oh, yeah. Your, Your mother's in here. Mom, get out of there! You're no fun. I about I she laughed for about ten minutes. Out of the fucking bed. It's so. It was so great. It was such a good reference <laughs> to the original movie. I have a feeling we're gonna be talking about Scary Movie Two a lot. Oh, Scary Movie Two is incredible. Or like where like she's doing the tongue thing, and then James Woods yeah. looks at her. Uh, he's like he's doing the yeah. He's doing, putting his fingers <laughs> up, and, uh, and it was just fucking great. It was just it was, yeah. that whole that whole beginning scene was. And just then they perfect. just started barfing all over each yep. other like projectile vomiting ah. apparently 20 apparently according to the prop managers it was 22 gallons of vomit oh like, that's man. insane and honestly like being that there was just a minute that minute part that opening was a perfect mm -hmm. but it was such a minute part that had to do with the rest of the movie because the rest of the movie it was supposed mm -hmm. to be the house it happened in yeah it set the state like first impressions are everything and that one really set the stage for just the comedy shit show that was about to follow. Oh yeah, and then, of course we get Cindy back. We get uh, Brenda, yeah, we get all the original. We all get the all like the main like with high exception... school, the main high school students, except for anyone who died in the first. Except, well, well, even 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 uh, what's his name the the Wayne the Wayne's the other Wayne's brother the, old, the older one he oh, died in the first one too, didn't he? Right. But uh, he I don't just know. miraculously came back, which is funny. Because there, there is a bit early, the, early on where the guy who plays Francis from Malcolm in the Middle, by the way, is in this movie, and he does great. Was that the the jock guy? Buddy. The guy? No, yeah, the, 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 the buddy. 
The guy that's trying to get with fucking with Cindy. With the ma- yeah, they wake up in their door, like they're in the dorm room, and the, like Buddy's two roommates are Ray and some other dude yeah. who's never seen again. By the way, he's just he's just there for that one bit that's based yeah. off of like, like dude, where's my oh, car? You got a tattoo on your back. It says Ray, and oh hey, you've got a tattoo on your back. It says fucked me, Ray, Ray fucked, fucked me. me, Ray, fuck me. And he's got this look <laughs> on his face. Like, oh. And Ray's face is like happy, like he's so fucking happy. Or, or, or when we oh! see Ray, should I go talk to her on? I was just here? about to go. I was just about to say that. I completely <laughs> forgot it showed the scene where where like it looked like it was tucked. I don't know if that was a real like whatever. I believe like the collection you got is like the unrated collection, so like yeah, this might not have even appeared in the theatrical release. Yeah, you but, really, like you're... we just see Ray's cock yeah. tucked between his legs. <laughs> like, I, I was like jesus christ but that's the thing the waynes brothers even in the first movie i forgot that we forgot to mention this with the with the whole movie theater scene where where ray goes to the bathroom and the dick like the dick goes through oh no you're he and he's like oh what's that and he looks through this like glory hole remember <laughs> yeah. and he's all, and then the dick comes through he's all do it again do it again and he puts his ear there and it's it go through his head that was yeah. probably, that was another good spot we didn't mention in the first one, but um... yeah, they do a lot of like sexual humor, but like they do it, it's not okay. Some of it is tasteless, but in a funny way. But right? it's not too much. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? It's not like too much. It, it it's good where it is. Like okay, scary movie two. There's that scene we were just talking about earlier mm-hmm. where where it showed the poltergeist, uh, the the poltergeist scary clown was fucking with mm-hmm. Ray. Oh yeah, he's fucking with him. It climbs up on th- or pulls him onto the bed, and then like, well, like his arms are elongated, and pulls him under the yeah. The next thing you see is a clown poking up from under the bed, like terrified. <laughs> well, he just, cock, it's just so good. It's so good giant, because like ro- snake cock just wraps around his neck and pulls it back in. Because he's like, oh, you like balloon animals? Uncle Ray got a balloon animal for you. That's when he's like, and that's when he's like, yeah, he. Pulled- well, here, I'll show you a balloon animal. Dee, 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 and he comes out, and it's like, I got that big old O face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, so, it's just so good. Anyway, let's get the premise of this, right? Yeah. So Tim Curry, who's playing uh, some professor, and um, David Cross, who's playing yeah. Dwight, are trying to get these people, like these students who were uh, survivors of the massacre in the previous movie, to go to this haunted house to try to do something it's an experiment they're doing yeah, it under the experiment. under the premise of sleep uh sleep apnea or sleep you can't sleep or something like that sleep deprivation yeah. and the but the real thing is, is and this is where it's based off of house on haunted hill it the real thing is it they're they're trying to do like a ghost experiment like if if people mm-hmm. who had near-death experiences in the past could see ghosts easier or something along those lines oh my god and the fucking okay when they gave the students the directions to the fucking house, <laughs> this is something we also That's didn't something know. That's something we also, yeah. We and paused like that. Like, uh, turn or pa- turn left past Elm Street and blah blah blah. If you've reached Compton, uh, <laughs> lock your door, lock your car, bend over and kiss, kiss your, your ass, ass goodbye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was like past Elm Street, whatever. It was really, it was, it mm-hmm. was a really cool reference, and we didn't. We st- at that a little before that we noticed some stuff in the background, so we started going, okay, we're gonna pause it at certain points, and mm-hmm. and we saw that, and it's just all the little nuances that the Wayne's brothers put into this. Yeah, the was, whole map was yeah. shaped like a skull and crossbones, and, and there was, was like, like a knife on the side, and it was <laughs> really it was really cool. And that that was the I think that led into the scene or was in the scene where she's singing in the car, right? Yeah, and then the radio. Can you shut the fuck up and let me sing? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like singing like the actors had to be oh singing God, purposely bad. It was bad. so off tune, yeah. It was so bad. And then the door knocker. Let's talk about that when they get to the, the, the hell ball house. Sack door it's knocker. a giant it, like, ball sack. And every time she hits the door, you hear ah! it screams. And... <laughs> I mean, imagine if someone was knocking on a door with your ball sack, Wild. I, if anyone knocked on my ball sack, <laughs> <laughs> that is the mail reset button, dude. Like you're gonna, you're not gonna like it. That's I, literally oh. look. That's literally a man's factory reset button. Right oh there. yeah, that's we fall to our knees, we cry, we go back <laughs> we to being babies. We, we don't. We yeah. We we forget who did it. And then of course the okay the ball the ball knocker. And then we get we get introduced after that to one of my favorite characters, the parrot. The parrot. Uh, which just a 
shit talking parrot with like a cod piece that always talks about how big its dick is. <laughs> yeah. You know, and he's like, he's, he's like, come on, baby, just fuck. He's talking to Cindy. And uh, mm-hmm. she's like, ah, maybe not. You, you can't handle this anyway, bitch, or something like that. It was just, it was, it was so good. And it, you know, and then, and then, she, oh, and then we meet my second favorite character, Chris Elliott. Oh my God. Who plays? Oh, what was his, name? Was his Hansy or uh, something like Hansen. that? Hanson. 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 Or something along those lines. And he's it's got. My, it's my strong hand. He's got this prosthetic hand that we did. We I didn't know that. I guess because it moved. I didn't know it was robotic. I thought that maybe like there was something controlling it, or maybe he had his hand in like I don't know, mm-hmm. but, um, but it was robotic, and it was really cool to watch it move, and it would shake, and he, mm-hmm. he, he was he was like picking shit up with it, and he was kind of like our lovable perv. And then the dinner scene happens. Oh, the dinner scene happened a lot quicker than I remembered too. So what's so funny is in every scene that Tim Curry is in. His character just seems to be enjoying the chaos the whole time, except for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. this one, he like actually looks like, what am what well, did I walk into? Tim Curry's <laughs> character is so horny that I love it. Like, he's mm-hmm. he's not even there to really do what they're to do, supposed to do. That's just mm-hmm. like the side thing. That's like the side plan. He's he's He wants to see girl-on-girl action. He wants to see... He's hoping to get lucky. Yeah, he's hoping to get fucked by one of the students. Um, but before I before we go any further than that, we got to talk. Like you said, you're talking about the dinner, the dinner scene. Like the dinner scene is probably one of the most memorable scenes from this movie. He comes out with this gorgeous looking feast. Like all the food just looks incredible, incredible. Until you and find then he out. just starts putting his like strong hand into everything and like using it to mix stuff and then like licking it and then put put it right back into the What's potatoes. What's that called? Like or... the potatoes? Yeah, he's like, look, I, yeah. I mix this by hand and it makes it better. And he's like. And then he goes on to the turkey, and then Noel's like, no. Like, mm, mm, that's good. And, and now, normally, you want to stuff the giblets in, and I just do it like, and he's like fucking full fist, fist the fucking it. turkey. And then, and, then, and then somehow that turns into him fucking the turkey. Oh, yeah, no, well, and he's like, and normally you like baste it, but I do it all natural. And then he just starts licking, licking it. And then, like, everyone's like watching in terror, and then he just starts fucking the turkey, and then he pulls off the legs, and like, all right, who wants a wing? Tim Curry looked at him and goes, is there anything you haven't personally prepared? Like you could tell he wasn't enjoying that. Yeah. I don't think anyone. And then was. like he brings out this cream pie. <laughs> oh, the cream pie looks so good. Which, but by the way, I just realized the cream cream pie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, of course, he gives the cream pie to the hot bitch first. And and uh, <laughs> he and, cream pies the hot bitch. Oh first God, I didn't get that until you just said it. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know Wayne's <laughs> brothers we're, golf class. I, we're still figuring I only, shit out. i only got that today we'll talk about but like then uh, someone reaches in oh um, here give me a my turn and, yeah and then he and he reaches in, my turn and just digs into the digs whole, into the oh, whole pie. pie everyone's pissed off and just gets up and leaves they're like ah yeah. i also was... just remember hmm. like at the entrance of that scene the hot bitch walks in there's my seat and everyone just throws his seat <laughs> even the wheelchair <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and but and buddy literally throws a uh, Cindy's seat toward yeah. her as well. <laughs> which which I forgot to mention, Buddy was trying to get in like Cindy's pants from the beginning. Oh, the whole movie. And then she's yeah. like, Can we just be friends? So he starts like treating her like treating her like, a, like a, a bro. Jock friend. Yeah, yeah, like a bro. She he gave her a wedgie and Kid punch! Yeah. Sorry, A Cup, you gotta be faster. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's just so good. It's it like that mm-hmm. it's all the little things in this movie that make it good. It's not like just she looks- it's not just the lame jokes. Where it's like, she looks just like you, except her eyes are perfect and her face is like perfectly symmetrical. And and your boobs, her boobs, yeah. are so wonderful. Like yours are and, yours, uh, yours are lopsided and and, and yeah, you know. spread out. And like, she's like she's like <laughs> they're like and you don't she get that dumb look in your dirty eyes. in this movie. It, it was, was so, so good. Uh, but anyway, like they they all get to their rooms. Um, was Cindy, that about the time? A little bit after that was the cat. Oh my yes, this is Which, where the this is where the shit starts going wrong for all of them. Yeah, the where cat- like uh, Shorty gets smoked like a blunt. Yep, yeah, they get him to free Shorty by because Buddy runs in with like Funyuns, Funyuns. and Munchies and stuff. <laughs> and then and for no reason, it just goes out the window for plot sake, which is fucking hilarious. Yeah, and then so yeah, that happens. Uh, Cindy fights the cat. My pussy's <laughs> gone my crazy. Pussy's gone- Crazy! <laughs> and that, that was just. And they're like literally good. like trading so like, blows. Yeah. She's like, there's, 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 the the lead into that was so funny too. That it comes in and like it's mad at her because they went to the they went into the secret room and it's mad at her because she has like the chest with her, right? Yeah. 
Or what she? Oh yeah, take the chest. Oh, if you insist, grab. He grabs her tits. Yeah, buddy grabs her, grabs Cindy's tits. If you insist, no, the, no that chest. But anyway, the cat's mad at her. He's like, oh. I I understand you're mad at me, especially after I used your litter box. And the cat looks over and there's a fucking steamer in the fucking litter <laughs> grabs box. Grabs a fucking grabs a fucking like glass piece of glass like a bottle and breaks it and yeah. holds it up all pissed <laughs> off. Like, like it was mad at her before, but it was really pissed that she did that. Yeah. Then the cheerleader bitch. Oh yeah, the cheerleader bitch got fucked by a ghost. Got fucked by whatever. Got the, the freaky mean ghost. with it, like. Like, oh, but, I love how it lifts her, lifts her skirt and sees the Wednesday panties and looks up at the date. It's like Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah, it went, it, when they went out of their way, like, I, I said this to you yesterday, or mm-hmm. the day we watched it, they went out of their way to make her look really, really uh, ugly, really, really, yes. like, unattractive, when her when her body was really pretty, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and we recently got that to... as inspiration for her later life. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, like, God. look. We I'm looked not up, a body shamer, but I will shame people who get too much plastic surgery. End of. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'll even put a picture in here for those watching. You guys can see what she looks like, like look, now. Look, just, just so you guys don't say I'm sexist, Simon Cowell's also ugly as fuck because he got too much Botox. Her, She gets fucked. She gets railed and then, by this fucking ghost. And then, like, they're in the bed smoking cigarettes, and then she talk, starts talking about marriage. The this is Huey Kane, or Crane, or whatever. Yeah, and she just, the ghost is gone. He's like, he's like, oh, where are you going? Call me! He fucked her <laughs> up and down the walls, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, Across she, the ceiling, onto the walls. Like, and we found out they used a uh, an like actual, a rotating like, room. rotating room for that. It was perfect. Yeah. There's another scene I wanted to talk about. Where she, mm-hmm. where Cindy gets kind of possessed, mm-hmm. and then goes and like, oh, where's that red and, dress? Like, p- propositions, um, uh, Tim Curry's, Tim Curry's character. character, and and then and like Tim Curry's like, because this was after Tim Curry had already told the two girls to sleep together or to, well, if you would sleep together, uh, yeah, maybe it won't be so. Scary. Like, what are you saying? You're college ki- girls. This is your time to experiment. Red dress. Oh yeah, time. and she's she's like basically basically on top of Tim Curry. I forget mm-hmm. what reference this movie's from. It was one that was shortly before that. But anyway, she she there's like this 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 like area where it's darkened across her face. There's a shadow. Yeah. And then she leans in, and her face yeah, turns not, into. Don't tell your husband. He's like, oh, I've, I think he suspects or something. Yeah, yeah. And then who are you? Oh, who are you supposed to be? And then it leans in, and it's, it's a fucking uh, it's, it's fucking shot in the yeah. Ray. And then and then like and then she's like, I don't know, I think something's going on. And she looks at, it, what do you think, Ray? And, she, and, and Ray she's actually sh- also in the room where the same fucking in the dress. same dress. He's like, I don't know, I got this, I got this, you know, whatever. That fucking like, I don't remember. Hot, right? I don't even remember putting. I don't even remember putting this dress on. What do you think, Ray? I don't know. I just, I bought this dress and brought it here. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there that, was that scene where they did the where they did the Nike commercial with the basketball. Yeah, and I was I I'm surprised you remembered that one, bro. That yeah, with the yeah. I remember that free in my head. Yeah, then shit just falls apart. Like yeah, like uh, it, we it, learned it, that the wheelchair dude can do auto fellatio because Buddy learns that they're trapped there. So then the the hot bitch tries to go down to like suck him off to get uh. the key. Oh, I love her redheads. Uh. Instead, she gets the key because he's too busy doing auto fellatio. Yeah, <laughs> well, his whole thing was, I don't need help. I can do it myself because he yeah. was in oh, a wheelchair. That reminds me of the roast battle between Tim Curry and fucking not Tim Curry. Tim Curry was there enjoying the chaos. Yeah, between uh, uh, Hanson and this and... wheelchair. Dude. Like, so Hanson had the bad hand. So he's like, "Oh, round of applause for that joke." Oh. Maybe you want to give me a standing ovation. It was, it, the back and forth was just so good. Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm just gonna walk away. I was gonna say, Chris, walk Chris Elliott, where away? Chris Elliott's oh. character won that fucking ba- that battle because he's, he's <laughs> just, the whole I'm time. Anytime away. it shows like Tim Curry's character, he's just sitting there with the biggest shit eating grin on his face. I think Tim Curry was just happy to be a part of this. I, I, in this, in oh, this, he was just having fun with the whole. Yeah, movie. the whole movie, he just enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. All hell breaks loose. There's a there's a scene between the uh, the wheelchair guy. And, and the the ghost and the it's ghost like a, for some reason is in a wheelchair. Like a Fast and Furious type. Scene. Yeah, it. Uh, I guess it was. I guess it was supposed to be a knockoff of uh, like Mission, Mission Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, because that's what they said in the the extra. Yeah. But it, I honestly, it looks like Fast and, Fast Furious, and Furious. But like they were wheelchair racing and fighting and fighting and. It, and they had this. They got like at, that, at what point where everything broke. All hell broke loose. They had all this money for like. Guns that shoot light bolts. Oh, yeah, and they start shooting. No, conserve your ammo. That's all we have. And then, like, 
Not even five minutes later, most of them have lost their gear. Most of them, yeah. No, no one's even really using their gear. It's just for plot device, you know. Yeah. Also, they had their their walkie talkies were cups on strings. <laughs> yeah, the Dixie cups on strings, and yeah, uh, which probably probably is a good a good transition into the scene where they get locked in the in the freezer. The freezer. Oh my god. Where he's already taken a Viagra. Cause he, and well, so he's like, I'm freezing, I'm dying, you need to keep me warm. And she's like, can, can you feel this? And she's rubbing his legs, oh, move a little higher. higher a little higher. Like, oh, oh, yeah, right there. Oh, little, uh, he starts stroking and him off. Like, like, at one point, he like know. puts his hands behind his back, and then like she looks at him, oh, oh. I'm, oh, he nutted like gallons. That nut like, filled the room, man. She like, was pregnant. Like You see her hit the wall? He impregnated the house! <laughs> <laughs> the house is going to give birth, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. And then she MacGyver's a fucking bolt. Yeah. They also mocked the let's split up thing. Like, the white, uh, the scientist, the wheelchair dude is like, we need to split up. And the, uh, yeah, Regina Hall, Brenda Meeks. Uh, it's like, oh, hell no, we ain't doing that white every time, split up shit. Every time what white people time? say to split up, us black people, we get killed. And she was just and fucking great. And then crazy. the next thing that happens is everyone else leaves except the three black people. Ain't that a bitch? And one of them's yeah. crying. We're gonna die. And then they end up splitting up anyway. Yeah, <laughs> they're moving together, and then like, and then they get to a certain point. All right, you guys go this way. I'll go this way. <laughs> like, Ma- oh my god! And then Marlon, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because they lose Marlon Wayne's character, Shorty. They lose yeah. Shorty. Shorty's in like a closet and fucking her- a ghost, but like making sure she's got the bag yeah. over. Her. He's fucking the ghost that <laughs> no, ends no, up no, killing no, Tim no. Curry's keep, character. Keep, keep keep the bag on. Keep the bag on. <laughs> And she got like this fucked up face. He's like, "Yeah, keep the bag. No, 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 don't fuck this up." He's like, "It looks like he acts, he acts like he's having an orgasm." And she's like, trying to take the bag off. He's like, no, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> so we've Monica. got to talk about your favorite scene. Okay. And then we can move on to the yeah, yeah. Like, the Charlie's Angels scene. Oh, oh yeah, the moo. Like this, this is moo. Anyone, moo. anyone who knows me and talks to me on Discord or just, like knows me in mm. life. Knows that I'll just move for random reasons. I'll move. Yeah, yeah. but move. What, the big the big influence on me was that movie. So like they they're fighting the their Hanson who's been possessed by the ghost, and um, they do this whole Charlie's Angels intro sequence. And at one point she's flying slow mo through the air, and Hanson's just like looking like waiting, and looking down, waiting like Peace because it's like back. actual slow mo. Picks up a badge and hits her. He hits this other girl who has like the inflatable tit airbags, like. <laughs> Your tits get all big and yeah, yeah. They're they're doing these the diff, these different martial arts styles. Crouching tiger, yeah. Uh, the crane, drunken monkey, and then, <laughs> and and then, then mad cow. And she she puts her head like puts her fingers up like they're the horns. <laughs> yeah. Moo, moo, motherfucker. It's like, moo. It's so fucking and it with the fucking fingers. Like to this day, that part steals the show. From me. <laughs> to, so, Ooh. what was the premise of three? I for, I forget. Three was signs. Oh, that's right. It had Charlie Sheen in it. Like three was signs, the Matrix, and Eminem. And uh, that's eight right. Mile. And eight mile. That's right. I'm looking at it. Uh. In mm-hmm. three, also it's three point five on this. Yeah, thing. so three point five is the unrated with some extra stuff into it. Uh, it also had the late Leslie Nielsen. E. Okay, so three wasn't as funny as two, but so two was consistently funny. He and I were laughing until like we couldn't laugh anymore at two. Yeah, and then like the the three... funny was just nonstop. Three though had. Some like we scenes where we had to pause the movie to just laugh for like twenty minutes straight. Goofy. A little bit of slapstick, some like goofy shit. Like with when the sheriff is talking to Charlie Sheen, like every time it pans back to her hat's wider and wider, which is kind of it was. But it anyway, was pretty uh, funny. Cindy has a son now. Yeah, and it's not about. It's, I don't think it's about her. Or not mostly. even an adopted son. Yeah, a nephew. Well, and then later, her boy her boyfriend comes into babysitting. He's supposed to be the uh, guy who plays the brother on the on on Signs. Ah, uh, there he looks go. a lot like Andy Samberg, but he's not. Yeah, but he's supposed to be a rapper and like walk twenty through the eight mile scene, and then like he wins stupidly, mm-hmm. and then like throws on his hood, and it's a KKK it's, hood. It, it's like it's like one of the the pointed hoods, and he's like, "What? Yeah, yeah." He's like, he keeps, like lose the hood, the lose hood. the hood," and he's like, "Yeah, the hood's got me." <laughs> <laughs> he just gets thrown fucking thrown the fuck out. 
that's the scene I remembered from that movie. That was the yeah. one scene I seen. That was that, that was one of those parts that we sit and laugh at. Uh, there's mm-hmm. maybe there's maybe three three or four wrong. three or four scenes yeah. that that are just meme memeable. That, yeah, or that like where when Charlie scenes like, so if if she is just donut, I'm his hot dog. Can we still? <laughs> Yeah, that's the death or, scene where his wife uh, gets yeah, where his wife sandwiched by the car. There, there, we might there be was forgetting. some sexual humor in there. Oh, God. I just remembered the fucking uh, scene where they went to see the Oracle. And it, it opens with this ring scene where, like, the lady turns around and she's like... Because okay. <laughs> yeah. like, it was like these blonde bimbos like having a slumber party and they watched the ring video and then they and, died. And they, they the Oracle scene was basically a ripoff of The Matrix. Yeah, and Cindy's, like, working for the police now or for a news report news news, the news. news. She's, she's a news reporter yeah um and brenda's a substitute teacher yeah, that yeah they, was... they they okay so it was a mishmash of signs the sixth sense the matrix eight mile it, the order of events is she goes and sees the oracle and shows her the tape that she's seen now the, the oracle looks at the video like the video and then like Gets it, like, pull, pulls the bitch out of the TV and has a fucking fight with her. They're just, they're, yeah, and it's like a ghetto, like, <clears throat> fucking, it's like a ghetto, like, like, uh, reality television show fight, almost. Yeah. It, it was like a Jerry Springer fight. Yes, fight, that's though. what I was trying to say. It was like a Jerry Springer like, fight. Because, like, Morpheus was there with her, and, like, Morpheus was her wife, and he's like, uh, like, he's like, no, I'm watching the game. Orioles win. Damn it! Damn it, bitch! I, I can't watch a single game with you around. <laughs> it's so good. The Oracle tells her to go see like the curator or yes. whatever his name is, um, which is I forget his name. Oh shit, George Carlin. George Car, yeah, George Carlin, and he's in a lighthouse. So she's talking to George Carlin, and George Carlin tells her some things, um, that she needs to go find the source of something, right? Like, and then she keeps talking and talking, <laughs> and <laughs> this was probably. Wildfire like stopped it there because like, he's like <laughs> he just he's so she's, she's talking and like going on and fucking on to like oh please God kill me he just pulls <laughs> he just, a fucking <laughs> laser like one of those little laser light pins and it hits her just just for no fucking reason like just no reason and this is what makes it funny plus it's George Carlin plus it's George Carlin but he just hits her in the eye with it just for no fucking reason just. We, we paused it at that point and laughed for, like, a good 20 minutes because it was so fucking random. Like, and his face was, like, be gone, bitch. Yeah, be gone. <laughs> he was serious about, like, he was like, I'm going to blind you, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> it was so good. Like, the, the third act part of the of uh, signs where they're in the basement hiding from the aliens. And the ring girl is there now. And, uh... They're like, ah, oh, you've cured me. All I really needed was a proper no. mother figure. And Cindy's like, really? No, bitch. No, bitch. And her face contorts again. Yeah. But I think before that, while they're hiding from the aliens and yeah, I guess the um, main trick is the best part. The best part. She starts telling her uh, nephew about the day she, he was born. Like, when you were born, your mother didn't want you. But I, or your mother... Didn't want like at first it was like, your mother didn't want you, and then she died. Um, but I was there when she cut your umbilical cord. Well, actually, it was on the second try because the first time she cut off your penis. And <laughs> oh my god! Like Wild didn't hear it the first time. I did, and I was like dying. And I'm like Wild, go back. I need to make sure that I heard what I but just the heard. The best part was I paused it. When I paused it, <laughs> it was paused on the the young man's face. <laughs> In his we face, have, it's now. It's a meme it's now. now yeah. It's a meme on my Discord. E- this is now an emo in his server and in my server. And in your server, and I think even in like Laser Kid's server. I think yeah. at one point so you put like, it there. She, the first time she cut off your penis, it was the single funniest scene in any scary movie ever. Because when we pause, I paused it because we're going <laughs> to go back, and for a second I go, "Look at this fucking face this like, kid's making." Because like it's so funny because she's trying to tell him this inspirational story, but every new every new thing she says is worse than the worse last thing the she last said. Thing. Like at first it was like your mother didn't want you, like you didn't. And she then, had she did a lot uh, of drugs that night. And, yeah, and then she yeah, uh, and then she uh, cut off your penis by accident. Yeah, 
And then it was sewn on upside it down. Just, it was just like it just kept getting worse. He's like, "That's why is that why I pee up?" Oh my! The the favorite the best scene were were the penis cuttings, <laughs> which is such a weird weird set of words that I never thought I'd say. The yeah, penis the, cutting the penis scene. cutting scene like only in, <laughs> only in a scary movie will you ever yeah. say that. Uh, um, the laser pointer scene, the sheriff hat scene. Yes. Um, and maybe oh, the, the donut scene. and uh, oh yeah and the yeah, yeah the uh, the scene where he puts like the the, the the sheriff hat scene the donut and hot dog scene and the fuck oh and this kid by the way throughout the movie he is just getting shit on like, like he's he, the most like, unlucky every, like, character like he gets hit by a bus multiple times like he gets hit by a car hit like like when, when she picks him up from school like she's talking to him and then looks in the back damn it and then just she forgot him. Hits him. <laughs> She forgot him. Comes to pick him up, backs up, and hits him. He goes flying. Yeah, I think that happens twice. Yeah, like it, it happened again at the end. Yeah, and then Where they're uh, like mar- get just married. They look back. Damn! And, and then the babysitting. Up, and they miss him. They miss him. And then he gets hit by a bus. And then the babysitting scene. He's ba- he's babysat by an obvious child predator. Yeah, or or like when she brings the boyfriend over. Yeah, and like he's like gonna... constantly hitting him, like trying to be a good guy, and like yeah, like beating the shit out of him, then throws him out the window by accident. Like oh, but yeah, it ends. It has a pretty de- decently happy ending. Yeah, and it does that. I think it does that car hitting thing at the end, like we say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they miss. Like at first, it baits you into thinking, oh, they're gonna hit him again with the car, but instead they miss him, and then he gets hit because he gets... he's chasing them, and he gets hit by a fucking bus. <laughs> The first three two movies were great. Still, the third movie yeah. was kind of like it was good, but like it had the like it wasn't consistently funny, but it had like single incredibly hilarious like piss yeah. your pants laughing, fall out of your chair because you can't breathe fucking laughing there was, moments. There was a lot of miss, but when it hit, mm. it hit. It hit good. Yeah. But, and four started off with I, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, it started off with Dr. the saw. Phil and, yeah, the saw start Doctor Phil and Shaquille O'Neal. Which was that was pretty funny, um, yeah. but to, to 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 sum up fours, four was mostly miss. There was a few good points. There were a few good jokes in it. Like I still, it was still an enjoyable watch. Uh, yeah, there it was, were some it funny was jokes. Uh, like when the tripod like, thing was looking around in the house and it starts dry humping a Hoover vacuum. <laughs> yeah. Or the tripod, the the i the iPod comes up. Instead. Yeah, and like everyone's like, yeah, yeah, and then it just zaps dwarfs them all. It is so good. Oh, no, no, it changes like the playlist to destroy all, de- or destroy all the humans or something like what that. Like, okay, the problem with four is there were a lot of funny scenes that I don't remember. Yeah, that that's that's the thing. Like we remember a lot of scenes from one, two, and three, but four, like the funny scenes, really didn't stand out. A lot fewer. Okay, it folk. It did a lot. It pulled elements from a lot fewer movies into it. It was War of the Worlds and Saw. Yeah, there might have been and... some others, but it wasn't noticeable. Oh, the Grudge. The Grudge. Yeah, of course, the Grudge, because the Grudge, that, that house, was, what, and the, yeah. okay, that does remind me of one of the scenes where like she's washing the lady, and it's in her own, like instead of <laughs> she accidentally grabbed the wrong thing, and it's she's washing the lady in piss. Yeah, oh yeah, it was like her. Uh, she was dipping it in like her her piss bottle or whatever the thing. Yeah, like, in her in her piss catheter thingy. or whatever. Yeah, uh, nasty. Or, and then when she was asking the thing, it was like. Toyota, Subaru, yeah. sashimi. They're talking. They're, yeah. That's that's actually verbatim. I think. Oh, they had a vi- the village scene. I forgot about that. Oh, we'll talk about it. So it, the guy who played Officer Doofy came back into that scene, and he was, and then also the guy who played Hanson, yes, uh, Chris Elliott. I forget his. Chris Elliott came back, and he Chris Elliott this time was the village idiot. Yeah, and he was fucking great. <laughs> well, you say grace for us. Pee 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 is vagina. Pee pee vagina. Or when the blind chick walks into the church and just starts Stripping. taking out massive shit. Oh yeah, she was. Uh, the, she was hot too, wasn't I, she? She was one of the yeah, hot yeah, ones. She was, she's like, I realize this isn't the ba- the communal bathroom, is it? No. <laughs> In like the courthouse or whatever, where they're ta- figuring out what to do. Hey, you know, some the village scene was the most okay. It's so funny because that the village scene was probably the most memorable of the scenes. Yeah. Now, that one felt most the most way in Z. The rest of it just <sighs> yeah. The, the movie as a whole, like there was again, okay. there was there was there were some funny moments. Wasn't even really a hit, you know. M- there were funny moments. We definitely laughed. We just don't remember them. Yeah, they weren't. They not like the first three where you can remember everything, mm-hmm. and it's just like we're straining to remember these ones. Yeah, Scary Movie three came out in two thousand three. 
which was two af- years after Scary Movie 2. Yeah. Uh, Scary Movie 4 came out in uh, 2006, which was three years after Scary Movie 3, and it was very clearly kind of a cash grab. Well, they're at, I think they're at this point where, because if you remember, after Scary Movie 2 got to be a hit, every movie that was out at one point, every year, there was a, there was a spoof movie based off of something. Yeah, and the you most know, of them Vampires suck. <laughs> suck, disaster movie, yeah, superhero movie, all those other... It was just... They were all... They all sucked. Mm. They all were bad. And, uh, but Five I watched. Five's not even worth talking about, guys. I'm not even going to get into it. It had Snoop Dogg. Sorry. It had Terry Crews. And that's yeah. it. Five, I never saw... I saw scenes of it. And, uh, like, the scenes I saw were just like, this is so unfunny. So, okay. Well, since we're going to... We're at the end of this. Let's mm-hmm. rate Let's rate each movie. One. Scary movie one. One to ten. Mm, 7.5. I agree with you. 7.5. Mm. Scary Movie 2. Mm. Um, Of the scary movies, it's a perfect 10. Yeah. I'd say 9.5 or 10. Yeah. Um, Scary Movie 3. For me, and this one might differ from you, it was like an 8 or 8.5. It's fine. I, I was going to give it like a 6.5 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's still uh, good. It's memorable, but it's not mm. 1 or 2. It just had some of the funniest fucking moments and I, may, maybe i'll revise it it's a, more of like a 7.5 and the one is an 8.5 yeah okay that makes like sense. They, one and three were really close like we're really close together in like funniness and quality and memorability for me yeah mm-hmm. and in i mean three like you said when it hit it hit hard mm-hmm. and it was great it was yeah. fucking you would remember the jokes and everything four not mm-hmm. so much the jokes were there four and... was somewhere between a five and a six Really, it was okay, but not great, not good. Four, I hate to say, is going to be a four for me. Because it yeah. was, it was, and then five is definitely a one. Five, I had zero interest in watching. Like, he he and I even were planning to watch it, and I'm like, you know what, let's just fucking skip let's it. Let's just like, skip it. Like, I, I'd watched it, I want to say, about two weeks before, mm-hmm. or maybe, you know, whatever. But I'd watch, and I, I just, I, I didn't laugh once. I didn't even giggle. There was a few mm-hmm. moments where, like, someone would say something kind of funny but it wasn't delivered right and it was it just was it was just bad it was bad um Mm -hmm. you can tell it was just a cash grab at this point will we recommend you guys watching most of the scary movies hell i'd say even get this this wasn't expensive um anything the wayne's brothers touched or touches in the future Mm -hmm. is my so that does bring us to the next thing is they are planning a scary movie remake. Oh, that's right. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, I genuinely hope that the Wayans brothers are in on it. Um, I know that Cindy's actor has expressed interest, but she has a few conditions on what she wants if she's going to be in another scary movie. Well, if she's going to play Cindy again and they want her back, they better listen to what she says and the Wayans because yeah. Because uh, what from what I can tell, it's not going to be a sequel. More, it's more going to be more of a remake. reboot. So, Scary Movie, it says it's going into production in fall of 2024 and it should hit theaters in 2025. So it's what getting you... uh, rebooted by Paramount, Miramax, and the, and uh, Neil H. Moritz, who was the produ- producer of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Jay Mac. If we watch the new one when it comes out, do you want to do a podcast on that one, too? Yeah. I mean, might as well. We we'll just... either talk... like. We'll either talk about how betrayed we feel or how, or how amazing we feel. it is. Like, mm-hmm. it would be great. Uh, but all in all, the scary movie franchise starts off strong, ends weak, as as yes. stuff like that does. Mm-hmm. But it is what yeah. it is. All right, guys. With that, we'll go ahead and uh, end the podcast. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. But till then, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy, always. <laughs>